Tonight, an about face from one of Georgia's largest school districts. After a lot of back and forth and confusion, Atlanta Public Schools says it will now approve an additional payout for Atlanta Public School teachers. Atlanta News First reporter Brittany Ford is live tonight outside Atlanta Public Schools headquarters in downtown. And Brittany, I know you spoke with an educator who was one of several questioning how this all went down. Well, Barry, yeah, her and several other educators, including the state superintendent, put pressure on the district who has now reversed their original position. Evany Spivey is a special education teacher at Burgess Peterson Academy. People are steady leaving the field of education every day. Why not try to show some extra appreciation when you can? Spivey, one of the Atlanta Public Schools educators referred to in this letter by State Superintendent Richard Woods, who raised concerns to why they were receiving Governor Kemp's $1,000 bonus. In addition to the $1,000 bonus check they received as an appreciation from the district earlier this month. It felt like we were just giving the runarounds about everything. Um, like, oh, we already ac accounted for this money, but it's like, uh, you gave us that four days ago. How did you know? Now that money is on the way. It will help pay for some tuition. I'm a doctoral student, so tuition is high and, you know, it will help alleviate some of that stress of trying to figure out meals and tuition. I'm a single mom with two kids. It follows back and forth between the state superintendent and the district. APS saying they anticipated the state bonuses because the governor had done them last year and dipped into their reserve fund to pay them out early. State Superintendent Woods fired back Thursday saying the state's payment was not a backfill to the school's budget. For Spivey, the outcome is nothing short of a Christmas miracle. It will definitely help bring some Christmas cheer even if it is late. <laughs> <laughs> now the district says they are working with the governor's office to determine when those bonuses will be released and to what staff members. We're live in downtown Atlanta tonight. Brittany Ford, Atlanta News First.